Hi, this is Robert with RBC Consulting again. Got a demonstration. Uh, this is a Blade CX-2 helicopter, uh, basic controller that comes with it, uh, supplied by us down at Fantasy Hobby in uh, Lakewood, Washington. Bunch of good guys down there have been helping us out. So what I'm going to do here is take the front cover off of this helicopter, just so you can see it. Kind of tricky to get these little clips off here. Once you once you get them off, they're they're okay to work with, but they're kind of kind of tricky. Okay, that's the front cover. Just a little plastic thing. I just want to get to the inside here so I can show you. Get this pin back in here. Okay, that basic helicopter nothing's been done i have to leave the back on so it can fly but uh and i'm not a very good pilot so just kind of bear with me a little bit uh but they are really fun to fly so what i did here is i took off the receiver and i sprayed it with the super high hydrophobic spray that i get from camas washington up there with max sales and uh the controller i pulled it apart and sprayed it the two engines both servos were taken out and sprayed, and the, the plate, anything that would hold water is what I sprayed. So I'm just going to give you a little demonstration of what I did here, but uh, kind of work with me a little bit. I'm not the greatest pilot, but you can see that everything on the helicopter does work. Functions left and right. Let me pull it out of the grass here a little bit. Whoops, sorry, <laughs> I, I crashed it. But anyway, just bear with me a little bit here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the water. Keep an eye on that helicopter and get a little closer, babe. And we're gonna uh, give this thing a little bit of water, like kind of simulating some rain here. So basically what I've done is I've uh, got some water here. Let's get her, get her nice and wet. Let that water soak onto it for a second here. Actually, let's do something a little bit better here for a second. Just to give you an idea that I trust this product real well. I got a bucket of water here. So we're gonna, we're gonna kind of do something here that you probably don't want to do. Let alone a little bit of rain, but I imagine you're not going to get that much rain on a helicopter of any means. So, but anyway, you get the idea. Get that out of the case there. So now we're going to see if we can take flight with this thing. Seems like all the controls are still working. I'm not a good pilot, so, whoops, bear with me a little bit here. These things are tough to fly, but anyway, it looks like I got her up a little bit, but I have the hardest time flying it. <laughs> Work with me here. I wish I was a better pilot for you guys, but I'm not, but I just want to prove that it's, it's not affecting the helicopter. It's almost easier to do in the air. Tough to land it too, but anyway, you can kind of get the idea. that I can completely saturate this thing and it still works. Here, here we go, I got a cooler right here of water. I'm just gonna bury it completely underneath the water. Five gallons of water over the top of it. Simulate it underneath a water shower of rain and the thing still, still goes. I wish I was better at this. Just... So basically I'm flying in the rain right now, but 
I'm not a, I'm not a pilot by any means, but anyway, you can get the idea. I've completely saturated this thing. I don't know how many times I've done this. But there's a couple more gallons of water. <laughs> but you can see anyway you get the point just wanted to demonstrate that it does still work and obviously i'm not the greatest pilot but anyway uh it's robert from rbc consultant